Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to introduce the mod that I've refer refer referenced to multiple times now, and that is the Signal Sleuth Slim mod. It's, I don't know if you can really call it a mod, it's just another configuration that it can be done. And just to show you how much thinner it is, obviously you do use lose the capability of having the battery pack. But even without that, the way this is configured, it is still thinner than what it would be if it was done standard. Uh, the case is opto also more optimized, which I'll have a link down to the case in the description. Some cool cutouts keep everything cool. Cutouts on the front to show the Signal Sleuth logo. And it's been pointed out that I got super lucky when designing this case that it just happens to show the Wi-Fi logo. The case online will include my little barcode, but if you don't want the barcode when you print it, just make them the same color if you have a bamboo. If you don't have a bamboo and you're printing one color only, then you won't see it anyway. It shouldn't show. This is uh, in the model. I only offset this by like, 0 0.001 millimeters is, just, is a really small amount, so it, can, it should be pretty hard to see. But to show you the differences and talk about how it's when you're assembling what you need to do different, then let's go ahead and get it taken apart and see the insides. So it just came apart from moving, removing the three socketed screws. And on the back of the case, I did make indentions everywhere needed for all of the soldering points. So it should be, it should fit just perfect. This case is only like two millimeters thick. The back case, I, may, I, I thinned it down enough where I even had to completely cut out holes. I haven't made an, a, a, a mod for it or a addition in the case for the GPS antenna. I wasn't really intending to put it on it. I wanted it to be as closed as possible. So if you're interested in that, I can add that cutout to it and I may go ahead and just do it and add it as an additional download. But here it is. If you want to make the slim version, what you need to do is go through the other video and assemble everything but the antennas and the screen just as it the, the other assembly video shows you. Everything else is the same. But when it comes to the antennas, as you see here, you're going to solder them on the same side as the ESPs and the BW16. Now on the other side is where we have the screen. The one thing to make sure you do is to put some sort of barrier between the head header pins for the SD card and the back of the screen. You probably can't see it, but they and, it, and it, they line up with some of the resistors on the back of the screen, so there are plenty of points that could short out on. Another thing to note with the screen that I did to suck it in even closer to the board is I removed the little black spacer. So when I soldered it in, I just solder one pin on the back side and then just get it to the right setting, or get the pin hot and then just get it to the right flatness I want and let it go cool off and then solder the rest of the pins. And that'll get it sitting just perfect. Other than that, that is it. I, I now have these available on the store. They're a little bit cheaper than the full fat version. They're still just kits and they still don't come without a case, come with a case. Uh, but I, I have opened up the ability to request me to make customized cases for y'all. Again, it's just the file. You'll still have to print them yourself. Eventually I will print cases, but I need, I have a bunch of other catching up to do with before I do that. But if you want a logo, it's going to be 15 bucks for me to replace this with a logo. If you just want your name, it's just 10 bucks. Name or handle, whatever. But yeah, that is the Signal Sleuth Slim. 
very quick, very easy mod. I don't actually have this BW16 modded. Uh, all I did was solder on the antenna just so it had three antennas. So, and another thing that can be done is if you don't want to mod the BW16 because it is a pain, a lot of work, and it's very, very tight work, you can always take one of these antennas and move it to the GPS. Uh, this PCB antenna on the BW16 seems to work fairly well. I am not disappointed by it at all. So I'm not in any hurry. Neither one of these actually have the BW16 mod done. But for now, they're going to stay that way. I'm going to worry about modding all of the ones needed for the OG orders. But yeah, if you would like to pick up the Super Slim model and get a customized case or if just the model or uh, just the super slim kit head over to my website uh, link will be down in description to the specific products and just to the website in general and we will see you next time thanks for tuning in